Story time with Fergie and friends. Hi everybody, hi girls and boys, hello, hello and look, look what we've got here today. We're going to be just having so much colour and magic and laughter and love and uh, of course that's all what we should be about, right? I'm so glad to see you again and I'm so glad you're watching. Hi mums and dads, aunts and uncles, granny and grandpa. Shall we put the glasses on and go for it? <gasps> John Roberts, thank you so much, with illustrations by Hannah Rounding. Well done. Through the eyes of us. <gasps> I know these books. I know John Roberts. I think John Roberts has a very special family, don't you, John? So we're very happy to be reading these with you today. So I'm going to put my glasses on. Ding, ding, ding. Glasses on. Could be cleaner, but never mind. And let's go through the eyes of, of, of us. Wonderful illustrations, well done, Hannah. <gasps> this is me and my friend Martha. Of course it is. This is Martha's tortoise, he's called Arthur. And this is Piglet, he's my favorite toy. Hmm, how sweet. Martha and I are the same age and we're great, great friends. We are similar in lots of ways and very different in others. We are both autistic. We are like two different colors sitting on a beautiful rainbow. How fantastic is that? With Tortoise and Piglet too. Mm -hmm. Martha and I love school. When I see my friends in the morning, I get excited and wave my hands in the air. This is how I like to say hello. Hello, everybody. Well, that's what I do too on Fergie and Friends. Hmm. I love listening to my teacher reading to us in class. I'm learning lots of new words. I repeat the words I like the sound of. Martha enjoys pretending to be the teacher. Oh might get her into trouble, my it? In class and copies what she's saying. <laughs> I've done that too. I've done that too, Martha. Martha talks a lot and asks lots of questions in school, sometimes asks the same question over and over again. Her teacher writes down the answers for her on paper to help her remember. I have a lovely lady who's my support teacher. She helps me during lessons by making things easy for me to understand. She is very patient, we all need to be patient, and ask me one question at a time. She knows it takes me a little while to understand the words and for me to come up with the answer. Look, there it is, and look, there's little Piglet too. Well, it takes me a while to come up with answers too, if I may say. My teacher uses picture cards when she talks to me as I understand more by looking at the images. Pictures make more sense to me than the spoken word. This is why this book's so good, isn't it? Look, there's Piglet again. Dinner time is my favourite time of the day, especially when it's spaghetti. I enjoy eating with my fingers and making a real mess. Martha likes many different foods too. She can eat and eat and eat, but her mummy and daddy must watch her and make sure she doesn't eat too much as she doesn't know when she's full. Mm, look at all those delicious things. Well done, Martha. Martha and I both love touching things. This gives us a stimulation that we both enjoy. When I go shopping with my mummy and daddy, I love wrapping clothes around my body and burying my face into the material. It makes me feel calm and warm and cosy. Mm. Martha likes to run to people and touch their clothes. She enjoys feeling the different te textures of their fabrics. And there's the tortoise. <gasps> Her mummy made her a lovely, brightly coloured bag out of all the types of materials, so when she gets the urge to touch something, she can touch the bag. Clever mummy, wasn't that a clever idea? I love exploring the outdoors, touching slimy slugs. Ooh, I don't, do you really? Stingy, stinging nettles and picking prickly holly. You may not like the feeling, not but to me, it's really interesting. After a long day, I still enjoy jumping up and down, on my trampoline in the garden. It makes me feel free. I wonder if tortoise or piglet like that. Hmm, maybe not. Mummy and Daddy say I'm very busy. I don't realize I'm tired and at night time, I don't want to go to bed. I run around the house to keep myself awake. <gasps> Martha knows when she's tired and will take herself to bed. She has a bedtime routine and must kiss her mummy and Daddy on their forehead before she goes to sleep. Hmm. Oh, that's a good idea. Well done. Like Martha, I like routine. Every night I have a nice warm bath with a few drops of lavender oil to relax me. And after my bath, my mummy gently massages my feet and hands. I love bath times. When I finally fall asleep, I sleep right through the night, but find it difficult to get up in the morning. Ah, <gasps> there's the thing. Oh no. 
Well, hmm, once we wake up in the morning, we're ready to take on our next adventure. Look out, world, here we come. whoopie doo Off we go. The ducks are running away and the tortoise. This book, Thank You, John, was written by John Roberts about his beautiful daughter, Kaya, hmm, and her good friend, Martha. The two girls are of similar age and both are autistic. It is hoped that by reading this book, people can have an insight into the lives of someone on the spectrum and understand that everyone is different and how much joy they can bring to their friends and family. Hmm. This is a lovely, lovely story. Well done, John. Well done, Kaya. And well done, Martha. Not forgetting tortoise and um, piggy. With Fergie and friends. With Fergie and friends. Mm-hmm.